Hi, I'm Lauren Lucille Vassar, and I host an online show called The Celiac Diva, where I bring people the dish on all things gluten-free. And today, I'm really excited because I'm here with Anne. Hi, I'm Ann Roland Lee, the dietitian at Char, and we've been doing different episodes on how to live the gluten-free lifestyle. Today's episode, we're going to take gluten-free on the road. So here we are today. We're going to take gluten-free on the road, and I think it's an important part of our whole series on living that full gluten-free life. Um, because I think travel kind of presents a whole other issue for many people who are newly diagnosed. What did you feel, or how did you feel, when you were first diagnosed, and how to travel, Lauren Lucille? Um, terrified. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was really scared that I wouldn't have enough food while I was doing a road trip. I was also really scared that I'd get stuck in a little town somewhere, and I wouldn't be able to find any gluten-free food, and then I'd be very, very hungry. <laughs> and these are, these are real concerns for many people, but I think we can master all of those, just like we mastered gluten-free dining, with being prepared. I think that's there's some key tips we can do. What are those tips? What would you share with us? The first and probably most important one is that you go because we want to live a full gluten-free life and vacation and travel is a big part of it. So first thing, go. Second thing is be prepared and that goes from when you start planning the trip. When you book your hotel, make sure that you get a room that has a microwave and a refrigerator because then you can take care of some basic meal planning right in your room. Mm -hmm. The second would be check out the local area. Go on to, there's all kinds of resources, store locators and um, different resources online where you can actually lo locate the local celiac support group, the restaurants in the area that have gluten-free menus, stores that have gluten-free products, so you can go totally prepared. If you're going to do international travel, and I would definitely recommend doing that because gluten-free is easier in Europe, is to also print out cards that explain celiac disease and what you need on a gluten-free diet in whatever native language of the country you're going to. Okay, so when you're traveling to Europe or across the country, how many meals do you prepare in your check-on bag? I always make sure I have enough things for the next day. I want to have a variety so that you have, you know, you can cover each of the meals, but you want to have enough for the next day. So once you land, you know you're prepared until you can get your bearings and find all those, those neat local places. Okay, so let's look at some of the things that we could put in our checked bag. Things such as cheese crackers and regular crackers, deli-style bread so you can make a sandwich, mm -hmm. um, fruit, and of course, you don't want to forget your lovely dessert, it's the bars. <laughs> things like this will definitely keep you that extra day once you get there. Right, and it's important to remember, you want to be healthy, but you need a treat too. I mean, it is a vacation. It is a vacation. Okay, speaking of en route, what do you do while you're en route? What about your carry-on bag? I also pack something there too. I, I pack kind of a meal and a half, if you will. So like you, this? Yeah, so <laughs> that you would have, again, some things to, cat, you know, to hold you through. If right. you get stuck at the airport or the train station, you could get held up in traffic. So you want to make sure you have something in the bag that's with you that you can, you know, you can take and have enough to, to keep you going. Okay, so now that we're all packed up, you ready to hit the road? Let's go. Yay! Okay, I'm, I'm really excited to finally be on the road. I know. On the road, gluten-free. Gluten-free road trip! This actually definitely reminds me of the last time I was on a road trip. What happened? Well, it wasn't didn't go this smooth, to be honest with you. Um, we thought we were going to be only on the road for two hours, but as happens in many road trips, due to roadblocks and a hurricane and everything, we ended up being on the road for eight hours. Oh my God! It was, it, it, you know, my initial reaction was panic. You know, because mm -hmm. you're like, oh no, what am I going to do? And then you're like, calm down. I know how to do this. I packed extra food. I know what I can snag at a gas station. But it kind of freaks you out when that happens. It's so important to make sure that you have things so you're prepared. I always make sure that yeah, I have like a picnic basket of emergency emergency rations, if you will, my emergency stash. But although everyone says, oh, yeah, I'll throw some things in the car, it's important to remember that you have things that are single-serve wrapped so that they can keep fresh, long shelf life, and even shelf stable. Also important, you need your basics, but you need your treats. But we also need to go through and do a road stop where you stop at the gas station and figure out what you need to, to pick up on the way. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, let, yeah let's do it. Let's go make that stop. Okay, we made out really good. <laughs> we did. Wow. 
that's the great thing about this, that even in just a regular gas station, look at all the possibilities we have that are, that are gluten-free. Such as chips. Right. Fantastic. You can grab candy. Candy. And trail mix. So everything from treats to healthy. Fantastic. Okay, so we grabbed a fruit juice, and I know sometimes in the gluten-free community there's a lot of questions about whether soft drinks and fruit juices are gluten-free. Can you clear that up for us? Absolutely. As long as you pick a juice that's 100% juice, then you know it's going to be safe because it's one of those things that we know it's going to be naturally gluten-free. So 100% juice is safe. When you get to your other beverages, either a soda, a tea, or a coffee, plain and simple is the way to go. Stick with your name brands on your sodas and, and your soft drinks because then you know that they're going to be okay. On your coffees and teas, again, when you get into different flavors and herbal infusions, that can be tricky. So again, plain and simple is the key to go. So, you ready to continue our trip? Let's go. Okay. We went through a whole great road trip today. So key takeaway points are always, you know, make sure you're prepared. Absolutely. Pack things ahead, single wrap things, shelf stable things, and things with long shelf life. And enjoy. I think that's the biggest takeaway. Absolutely. You know, you can take your life to the next level and travel, you know, fearless and with a lot of freedom in your life. And I think that's pretty valuable.